Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a senior at Caltech studying bioengineering, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about sustainability at Caltech. We're in front of Jorgen Laboratory. It was recently renovated three to four months ago, uh, and now it's home to the Resnick Sustainability Institute and the Joint Center for Artificial Photosynthesis. So let's take a peek. Jorgensen is one of our LEED certified buildings on campus. It's LEED Platinum certification and has zero energy consumption. Some of the researchers associated with the institute include Harry Gray, who's trying to find a way to use sunlight to split water into oxygen and hydrogen for use in fuel applications. Um, additionally, John DeBerry, who's using bio-inspired design and fluid dynamics um, of schools of fish to create more efficient wind farms. Some of the undergrads have gotten a chance to work on Professor Hoffman's sustainable toilet project. Um, he was funded through a Gates Foundation competition that Caltech won, and um, they've gotten a chance to make a second generation prototype of their sustainable toilet. The entire system is contained in a shipping container size, and it's completely self-sufficient, so you don't need to put any water in or take any water out or have it plugged into any external electricity sources. Um, it's completely self-generating. The process uses an array of electrodes to filter and sanitize the fluids that are used in the system. So there's a handful of undergrads that are going to get a chance to work on this during their surf this summer and um, see how it ends up at the second generation competition this December in New Delhi. This is just a small part of sustainability at Caltech. For more information, please check out the Resnick Institute website or the Joint Center for Artificial Photosynthesis online.